Curry Central Bank has left its key rate unchanged at 1.5%, a move largely seen as a continuation of its wait and see approach. Now, this is in line with market expectations as the Korean economy faces a number of obstacles from within and outside of the country. Our Hwang Jihae joins us from the nation's central bank. Uh, Jihae, how did the uh, monetary policy meeting unfold today? In its monthly monetary policy meeting on Thursday, the Bank of Korea, as you said, decided to stand pat on its record low key interest rate of 1.5 percent for a sixth straight month. The top central banker said that it's keeping a close eye on the U.S. Federal Reserve's meeting next week, where policymakers are widely expected to raise the interest rate for the first time in almost a decade. A rate rise in the U.S. does not necessarily mean the BOK will directly follow the suit. We will be monitoring capital movements in emerging economies after the liftoff and how the domestic economy reacts to these changes. The governor also differentiated Korea from other emerging markets, saying a massive capital outflow following a rate hike in the U.S. is unlikely due to the country's strong fundamentals like its bountiful current account surplus and foreign reserves. Still, the economy faces uncertainties from feeble global demand, especially from China, that played a big part in negative growth every month this year in Korea's outbound shipments. Conditions at home do not look so bright either. The country's household debt is rising fast, already exceeding one trillion U.S. dollars, and many point to government spending as being the main driver behind better than expected performance in the third quarter. Given that, a lot of analysts are expecting no change in the key rate for quite some time. Uh, but I think uh, uh, next year is going to be the same kind of growth path as this year. So if, if we so, I think BOK okay. will hold it throughout the next year. Now, much focus is on the BOK's new growth outlook for 2016 that will be released next month. The BOK currently expects the Korean economy to grow 3.2 percent next year, but some say low global oil prices could lead to a downgrade of that forecast and that this could signal further rate cuts down the road. Kwon Young. And we'll also wait and see uh, what the impact is like from the Fed's rate decision later this month. Uh, thank you, Jihei. That was our Hwang Jihei from the nation's central bank.